The fourth button is the quizzes button. The quizzes button allows you to insert questions in specific moments of the video. When the video is playing, the cursor will reach the moment on the timeline where you placed your question, the video will pause, and Edpuzzle will ask your students the question, and they will have to answer the question, and then the video will continue from where it was paused. You can add as many questions as you want. To add a question, simply move the green cursor where you want to insert your question and click over it. An interface will appear on the right side of your video. This interface gives you the possibility to choose if you want to insert an open-ended question, a multiple choice question or a comment. Simply write the question in the blank space. You can make the text of the question bold, italic or underline. You can add a link and you can also add a picture. If you want to add a picture, you can add an online picture or you can upload it from your computer. Whichever way, do not make the image larger than 250 pixels, otherwise the image will exceed the box borders and you won't be able to see it correctly. You can also add mathematics formulas. Once you've finished writing your question, you can save with the appropriate button or you can add a new question with the plus one button. Now we can add a multiple choice question. Click the tab after the open-ended question and write your question in the top text box. You can personalize your question as you prefer. Now list the possible answers for the question. If you click feedback, you can set a post answer explanation after the students choose that answer. Go back and set the correct answer to your question. Save your question. Now we can add another question or a comment in another point of the video. Move the green cursor where you'd like to add a question or a comment and again click over the question mark. The empty question template will appear on the right side of our page. We can add an open-ended question, a multiple choice one, or a comment. This time we will add a comment. Comments are simple. Write your text in the appropriate text box and personalise it as you like. Then click the save button. You have now created a comment. Wow.